right, for today's drawing, you're gonna need a pencil, some crayons, and some markers. So let's get started with our butterfly. You're gonna find the middle of your paper, and you're gonna find a little circle. When you're ready, you wanna start drawing that circle. And I start drawing lightly, and when I feel confident, I press hard. All right, next we're gonna do an oval for the thorax. So we got the head, this is the thorax. And you just do a little oval. And when you feel confident, you can press a little bit harder. And last, we're gonna do the abdomen, which is a little bit longer than the thorax. It's gonna draw oval, and then you're gonna press down when you're confident. All right, we're doing an overview or the view from the top of a butterfly. So let's draw some eyes on the sides and some antennas. You got a long line on both sides and a little curved line, on, little dot on top. And they can sense the sun with these antennas. So if the sun comes out over here, it's like it tells the butterfly to fly that way. And if they're getting lots of sun over here, it tells the butterfly that way. All right, so we got the body. Um, next, we're gonna do the wings. I like to come over here, like in the middle, and I go out this way, long line. And then I try to do the same line on the other way. I try to make it symmetrical. You can always draw light with your pencil and dark once you're feeling confident. Or you like your line. And we're gonna draw a curved line, maybe like up to the antenna on the end. So I'm gonna curve. And then I'm gonna curve on the other side. Like, we're gonna do two more lines, or one more line, going up, curve up, and curve up that way. All right, and I'm gonna do a little short line over here. And I'm gonna practice imagining a line, a curved line. And then when I'm ready, I'm gonna go all the way up. And I connect that. And I'm going to go to the other side. Imagine that line. And when you're ready, you go all the way up. All right, you got the four wing, or the top wings. Now we're gonna do the bottom wings. And we're gonna draw a short line going out this way. Kind of give, imagine it has a leg. Here's the other short line. And I'm gonna draw a little line right here at the bottom of my wings. And I'm gonna imagine a curved line going that way. I'm doing it lightly. When you're ready, just press hard. Oh, there you go. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Draw it light, and then ready. Draw it dark. All right, I'm happy with my um, drawing. Again, if I start drawing too fast, you can always pause the video and slow it down, take your time, and then follow, press play again. All right, so around the butterfly, there's these little white spots, and I wanna make sure that I don't use up too much of that space. So I'm gonna draw a little curved line that goes right along our wings. And inside that curved line, I'm gonna draw my little white spots after. You wanna follow the contours and go down on the bottom wing. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna follow the curved line to my wings and down the other way. And we'll do the bottom, bottom right here. And we erase all these lines, my butterfly. All right, inside these um, borders, that I call them, you can put some dots. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can do more or less. So these are gonna stay white. I'm gonna do some on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's a lot of counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so far so good. Um, and we're gonna now do the inside or the cells of the wings. But what I like to do is I start off with a big oval on this side. So just imagine your shape. I'm gonna go along my line and I'm gonna curve and go back down. All right, we're gonna do the same thing inside. You're gonna start with a little curved line, go all the way up. Try to make it the same size at the other side and down. And again, you wanna make it perfect because you're just having fun. All right, we're gonna do another shape in here, another oval. I'm gonna go down and around, and I can use my border. I'm gonna go all the way up to my border. I learn. A big, and I'm gonna do a medium one. A medium oval, and I'm gonna do a smaller one in between. That border here helps me make my shapes the same size. And I'm gonna add three more over here. One, two, three. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. So imagine the oval here. And you ready? Press down. There you go, all the way around. And I got that medium one. And then use that border to help you make the same size. Next one, medium or smaller. And I got one, two, three. Right, that's a lot of circles. I know if you need a, or ovals, if you need a little break, you can pause the video, come back. All right, we're gonna do another oval. We're gonna start at the bottom. I'll draw a big oval right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing to make it symmetric on the other side. And I'm gonna draw another one in here, like a medium oval. So the same thing on the other side. Then I'm gonna try to see how many I can fit in here. So I'm gonna start off here on the top. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. I think I think get four in there, four. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, one, Use those two, three, and four. All right, and you know, butterflies have little hair over here. If you look at it really close, I think it keeps them warm. And right here in the abdomen, they have some curved lines. All right, next we're just gonna trace with the black marker and we'll color. All right, so that's my um, freehand drawn um, monarch butterfly. You can see on one side, I blend it with crayons. On this side, I try to make some texture with my markers. Um, when you're done, you wanna write your name, I'll write Mr. Rivera on my drawing.
if you really want to draw a detail, um, Monarch Butterfly, you can always use your computer as a light box. So I'll show you how that works. You're going to open up your computer and you're going to find Google Images. And I'm going to put Monarch Butterfly. Monarch Butterfly. And I'm going to click on Images. And I'm going to find a butterfly that I like. All right, once you find the monarch that butterfly that you like, you're gonna open it up. I'm gonna put full screen view. I'm gonna go on full screen and I can see my butterfly. Now, it's gonna be challenging to draw this over here because there's so much light, but I wanna be able to see it. I'm gonna turn off my light a little bit. All right, so one of the things that you have to be careful, if you have a touch screen, you wanna hold your pencil and just go like this. Um, the pencil does not have any electricity, your finger does. So if you touch the screen, it's gonna de detect it, it's gonna ruin your image. So you wanna keep your pencil floating like that. So you wanna hold it in place or you can always put tape. And then once you start doing that, you can start tracing. So I'm gonna do the head eyes and just start tracing. All right, so let me take this off. Hey, you can see that there's my butterfly. A little bit more detail than the um, one I did earlier. Um, so same thing, you wanna trace it with a permanent marker. Once you're done with your drawing and you practice a few times, uh, whether you do the freehand one or the one with the computer, um, you can go outside and do some chalk art with this. 